this is Marcy Anderson with the Fishing Report for Southeast Kentucky. Surface water temperatures remain in the mid to upper 80s on area water bodies. Continuous rounds of rain over the last few weeks have resulted in an increased lake level at Lake Cumberland and Laurel River Lake. As of the 8th, Lake Cumberland was around 10 feet over the normal elevation for this time of year. As a result, the Corps will be generating a lot of water through the dam to bring lake levels back to normal. This will make for increased flows on the tailwater and difficult access for wade fishing. On Lake Cumberland, walleye are being picked up on mud flats trolling nightcrawler rigged bottom bouncers. Crappie bite is still good at night using minnows along main lake points and cuts. On Laurel River Lake, anglers are having some luck targeting walleye. Anglers trolling deep diving crankbaits and bottom bouncing nightcrawler rigs in 15 to 20 feet of water have been picking up walleye on the mid and lower sections of the lake. The black bass bite has been somewhat sporadic, but anglers fishing in the late evenings or early mornings have been having some luck using soft plastics. On Cedar Creek Lake, the bite has slowed down somewhat. Bass are still being picked up just off the weed beds in 12 to 15 feet of water on jigs. Crappie are still being picked up using minnows. On Dale Hollow, black bass anglers have been having success fishing main lake points and cover in 20 to 25 feet of water using jigs and soft plastics. Anglers are doing well catching walleye by trailing night crawlers on the flats in 25 to 30 feet of water. So as always, good luck and good fishing. This is Tom with your fishing report from the northeast. Cavern Lake is still setting above summer pool levels, which is having an impact on which boat ramps and fishing areas are accessible. Please contact the U.S. Forest Service for the most up-to-date closure lists. In spite of this higher water, the summer musky bite is in full swing. I'd be looking at inflow areas of the lake, fishing medium-sized shad or sucker imitating baits, and I wouldn't be afraid to move if I wasn't raising any fish. Both crappie and bass have slowed down quite a bit. I'd be looking at dusk to overnight bite for the bass and fishing slower moving baits. For the crappie, I'd be looking at the main lake brush piles still, but also considering nighttime fishing under the lights. Similar story up on Grayson with the bass and crappie. Fish at night for both, and don't forget to fish under the lights for the crappie. In addition to these species up at Grayson, don't forget the hybrid bite this time of the year. Warmer water temperatures and lower oxygen levels pins these fish down a bit to the lower portions of the lake, and they're usually sitting right on top of that thermocline in as cold water as they can find. Anything that imitates a shad as prime bait for these fish. This is a good quality fishery with some nice fi si nice sized fish in it, so this is a great time of the year to check it out. Grayson Lake is also a good place for channel catfish. Jug fishing this time of the year can fill freezer pretty quick. Don't forget to label those jugs and check them often. District streams are a bit spotty right now with the recent spotty rainfall. If you can catch one run down, it's a good opportunity to take a wade fishing trip and have a little fun doing something different. That should do it for us. If you hit up the water, please stay safe and good luck. This is Jeremy Shifflett with a fishing update from the Northwestern Fisheries District. The Loon River Lake is a few inches over summer pool. Water temperatures are in the mid 80s. Bass fishing has been fair. There are some smaller fish hanging shallow, but the bigger fish seem to be holding 15 to maybe 25 feet deep on main lake points and around structure. Deep diving crankbaits or Texas, Carolina or wacky rigged plastics in blue black, green pumpkin and motor oil have been picking up some fish. There have been black bass and white bass in the jumps, more so in the morning for a few hours after first light. Try any loud or flashy topwater, a spoon, spinnerbait, or rattle trap to pick up some fish. Crappie fishing is also fair to good. Fish are on structure 15 to 20 feet deep per usual. They are still a little finicky, so consider fishing slower and scaling down your lure size to entice a few more bites. There have also been several channels and flatheads uh, being caught on cut bait in the lake. I haven't heard much out of Rough River Lake lately. Uh, the lake is about a foot over summer pool and falling slowly, but this is a great time to catch catfish in the tailwater, and you can also pick up some hybrids and crappie down there as well. In the lake, hybrids are still in the jumps early and late. You typically find more on the lower end of the lake, say from Axtell down and from Panther Creek down to the State Park Marina. There are also quite a few hybrids that hang out between Peter Cave and Atkins Camp on the upper end of the South Fork from July through October when the water starts dropping. Try using live shad caught in rough, night crawlers, chicken livers, swim baits, or rattle traps to entice some bites if the fish are nearby. Bass fishing has been fair in the state lakes, with early morning and late evening being most productive. Target woody structure three to six feet deep at our smaller state lakes like Carpenter Lake and the Kingfishers and also Washburn Lake. At Lake Malone, target the deep drop off on the edges of the water willow and woody structure or large rock eight to 15 feet deep. Soft plastics, Alabama rigs, and square bill cranks have been picking up a few fish. Trout were stocked in Otter Creek on Fort Knox this week. Make sure you get a Fort Knox fishing permit, familiarize yourself with the rules and regs, and head out to the area around the pump house to catch you some summer trout. Good luck and stay safe.
This is Caleb Bentley bringing you the Kentucky Stocking Report. This week across Kentucky, we stocked rainbow trout and lake sturgeon. Rainbow trout were stocked in Casey Creek, Trammell Creek, Sulphur Springs, Jennings Creek, Lake Cumberland Tailwaters, Roundstone Creek, Otter Creek on Fort Knox, and Harrington Lake Tailwaters. The lake sturgeon were stocked in the Cumberland River. Good luck fishing and be safe.